Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. You're saying you're starting to see church it's, planning movements, disciple making movements right now? What we're starting to see is, uh, yeah, there are people working on disciple making movements, but it's the first fruits of Cambodians going cross culturally wow. as, as missions, missionaries to the surrounding nations. Has this happened before in Cambodia's past? Well, I, I guess I don't know. <laughs> um, I can't recall a lot of... Uh, it seems to me there's some similarities between Thailand and Cambodia. Yeah. Of course, Cambodia's history is much, very tumultuous yeah. as of the last you know, five decades, right. less, less than. Tell me a little bit about Cambodia. How has that kind of like backdrop um, brought some sort of maybe spiritual vacuum or hunger for the gospel or the opposite? Yeah, so as many people know, the Khmer Rouge just wiped out so many, and and now the 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 seventy percent is under the age of thirty, so very young, but surprisingly very resilient and very open to the gospel. To the gospel, to and and so there is during that tumultuous time, many went as refugees to Thailand. Okay. And during that time, YWAM really stepped up to. It was really the birth of our mini, our mercy ministries in some ways. Like God's doing this, we need to respond, and it it helped us figure out how to do mercy ministries. But then many uh, Khmer people came to know Jesus during those times in those refugee camps, and then went back and became the leaders in the body of Christ in wow. Cambodia. And so suddenly, the body of Christ just started growing like very rapidly, uh, and and has not stopped. I'm always intrigued by these kind of like divine connections or divine intersections throughout history. Yeah. I mean, I write a lot about that in the mind of a missionary, how one thing triggers another. I actually spoke at church here in Chiang Mai, Thailand just last week um, and talking about how to be catalytic in your realm of influence. Talked about my dad. He grew up in this home where his father killed himself when my dad was uh, 11. Wow. My dad walked into the kitchen, saw the blood on the walls of the kitchen, um, men in and out of the house all the time because his mom's lifestyle and drugs and then abuse, which led to his, you know, he would have ended up in jail or worse, prison. Incredible. Um, he's standing on, in the early 1970s, standing on Huntington Beach Pier, looking out at the Pacific, and somebody walks up, taps him on the shoulder, said, hey, take this. It's a little tract. Now, we've all been given tracks or handed out some weird tracks, so we know they're out there. <laughs> but this one, somehow, God uses it yeah. to trigger in my dad this radical salvation. I mean, Incredible. 180. Which, so I'm telling my, my daughter, she's been asking me recently, she's six, Daddy, tell me stories of your life. I'm telling her about Grandpa, my dad, yeah. and the story. And I said, and, and that changed my life. I, my life is nothing like my dad, your grandpa knew. It's completely changed, and that's going to change your life. And then she looked at me and said, and Daddy, that's going to change the life of my kids. <laughs> I was so moved wow. by how she, she realized divine intersections totally. and moments create ripples in eternity. Totally, totally. And so, I mean, the, going back to the birth of maybe in many ways the, the Khmer or Cambodian movement in, in some ways, um, those moments where yeah. they fled persecution, hardship, struggle, difficulty, yeah. suddenly there's a church that left in its wake that's yeah. resilient. Very true. Very true. I, I love that idea of those ripples going out that we never know how far they go. Uh, I love playing the clip from, is it Gladiator? Is like Maximus, he says, the choices we make today echo in eternity. And yeah. it's like, oh, yeah, I need that, you know, because sometimes that, that small obedience, you never know. And you maybe never see what happens, but yeah. it just has far-reaching uh, impact yeah. potentially. I was hoping you're going to do a better, Im uh, better impression <laughs> I, of that. The old Russell Crowe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit that together and make yeah. it look really put on some thematic music. Right? <laughs> Missions Pulse. Know God's heart. Join His mission. This podcast is powered by Within Reach Global. Subscribe, watch, and listen on YouTube today. Visit missionspulse.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that video, leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought. Also, you might want to check out this video here. And honestly, that one's not bad either. 
Make sure you subscribe to Missions Pulse by clicking the subscribe button right here and also click that little bell button so you get notified every single time we post a new video.